Hello guys, here's Kawaii Wolf and we're gonna tape a new review. It's Max Payne 3. So we waited 9 years for a sequel and 2 extra for this review. But is Max Payne any good? Well the answer is, hell yeah. So let's start from the beginning. Max Payne 3 is a game developed and published by Rockstar. Which, you know, is a big difference since Sam Lake wasn't making it. Or at least writing it. But you know, I wasn't really afraid since we got Dan Hauser. And Dan Hauser knows what a Dan Hauser know what to do. But if you don't know who Dan Hauser is, Dan Hauser is the writer of Red Dead Redemption and pretty much all Grand Theft Auto games. And Bully as well, which is my favorite. But enough about that, let's talk about the game. First thing, the story. Well, the game takes place between Max Payne as a bodyguard in Brazil and how he got to that point in New Jersey. But of course, being Max Payne, he only does hate shit things. And it's awesome. The story's pretty good, there's enough twists and turns to keep you engaged. Actually, a lot of things they'll question what you're doing, but throughout, you understand that you're doing the right thing. I don't, I don't, not really, you're, you're killing people. Whatever is Max Payne. But no, let's not talk about nostalgia value because Rockstar Game has put loads, loads of reference and easter eggs that will remember your Max Payne 1 and 2, especially when you're playing in the New Jersey levels. Or as I like to call them, the make me extremely old levels. But that's too long, so I don't call them that. Second part graphics and aesthetics. The graphics are actually pretty impressive, I gotta say, for 2014, I remember playing this game in 2012 and being a very very impressive and it's amazing how it still holds up for today. Well, except for the character models which look pretty dated I guess because they didn't use the motion capture that we use today and was also used back then for L.A. Noir, for example. Not enough of that because I want to talk about the aesthetics which a lot of people complain for not being as grim and dark as the other Max Payne games but myself I thought it was a genius move on them because the colorful Brazil and the contrast between the rich and the poor and the fact that they all talk Portuguese really shows how Max feels in the city where he doesn't know much especially doesn't know the language which is Portuguese not Spanish I hope this clarified to a lot of English people that think Brazilians speak Spanish. Also, he doesn't know the customs, so it really makes Max and the player feel like they're in this place where they're out of context, they don't know what to do, they just do what they're told. And still, if you miss the green part, you still have the plenty of flashbacks from New Jersey, and it was, it was fun. Deal with it. Okay? Third part, soundtrack. I gotta say, the soundtrack is pretty spot on. It mixes the old school piano soundtrack with more modern Brazilian music, since this game takes most place in Brazil, obviously. And it really knows how to spice up a moment. It's really engaging, even in moments where there isn't any shootout. Fourth part, gameplay. Surely, the most important part of Max Payne is the gameplay. And yes, the bullet time is back. And how do you improve on an axe that has been used multiple times over these 9 years? Well, you make it perfect. And you also improve in the physics. Because this game uses the same engine as GTA 4. And if you know, that game has a pretty impressive physics when it comes to body physics at least, not car physics. And with that, you get a very realistic, very violent because you can see every single bullet hitting your character or hitting an enemy which makes for some really cool action scenes to be truthful and it also makes for very violent scenes which isn't a bad thing Max Payne 1 and Max Payne 2 were very violent games themselves so it's pretty much already tradition if you think about it which brings me to another point the health like previous Max Payne games, you need painkillers to regenerate your health. The difference here is, when you're near death, you go into this super slow motion mode, and you have to kill the person that killed you, technically, 
And if you do, you go back to life. But you need to have a painkiller at least. Now let me talk about the guns. The guns all felt good to play with. My biggest problem was with the assault rifles, which all played pretty much exactly the same. Same thing with shotguns, they also played very similar. And that made me not really care what gun I was using. By the end of the game, I was pretty much just using the one that already had golden, which was pretty much funner. Not funner, just looked funner. But it wasn't. Another controversial topic was that Max Payne 3 had an over the shoulder view when it came to aiming, which I thought was pretty bullshit, since it was not really a over the shoulder view, more like a zoom, almost kind of the style of Max Payne 2, so there's not very much to complain about it. And it's obvious that he needs it, since there's cover now, and you know, you can't aim without aiming. That doesn't make any sense. But I feel like I'm rumbling too much, so I'm gonna change the topic now. The length of the game is actually pretty good, 10 hours. I had fun, but I actually wanted more. Good thing that we had multiplayer. I gotta say, I'm not a big fan of multiplayer, but this was pretty fun. The problem is, if you're gonna play it nowadays, it's pretty desert, if you know what I mean. Still, even if you're only looking for a campaign experience, Max Payne is surely a great game, really fun, and I think the 10 hours will fulfill you if you're not a hardcore fan of Max Payne, and that um, there's still New York Minute and all those arcade kind of gameplay, so that's it. Fifth part, the results, or the score, I don't know, I don't, I didn't. Max Payne 3 is fantastic, you have to try it for yourself, because if you want to look at gameplays, you're only going to see pretty much a normal standard third person shooter. You have to try it yourself to know how good it is. It's truly worth the money right now, it's like $5 on Steam, and if it's for consoles, you can get it like used, or even new for really low prices, so get this game, play it, have fun, and for you guys that like scores, I would give this game a 9 out of 10. And the reason why I don't give it a 10 out of 10 is because it's still, in its core basis, just another third person shooter. And the thing is, I only give 10s out of 10s to games that truly change the way we see gaming. So, this was my review, I hope you like it. Subscribe, give it a like if you like it. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. But at least give me a reason why you dislike it, like write in the comments. I know this video is not perfect, it's my first, so it's obviously not perfect. So, that's that. But if you truly like this video somehow, I don't know, you probably have a mental disease, I don't... Uh, give it a favorite. It's, it helps a lot, truly, so you don't, even if you just liked it okay, you can give it a favorite, you know, get people to know me, even though I'm truly not famous, but, you know, do it. Do it!